The S340Ks by NZXT offers a compact form factor with tons of space inside to build your dream PC. There's also tons of cable management areas making the wiring job super easy. So if you guys are in the market for a durable and sexy compact case, then be sure to check out the NZXT S340 by clicking on the link below. Wasn't I wearing the same shirt last episode? What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. I love doing these and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Uh, so I just came back from my trip to Iceland. I was there for four nights because LG flew us over to cover an event and it was such an amazing time. But if you guys watched my vlog then yeah, you guys know what I did there. So before we get into the unboxing guys, I want to show you a few things that LG gave me uh, back in Iceland that I brought over to the US. If you guys already watched my vlogs, then you already know what is in these boxes, but for the rest of you, you are not gonna believe what is in here. Check this out, guys. This first one is an action figure. Yep, this is pretty much me in my chair <laughs> with my Texas hoodie and you got my DX Racer chair in the back. I mean, the, the attention to detail is phenomenal on this and honestly I was so shocked when I saw this at the hotel in Iceland. Everything is so freaking accurate. The chair, my hoodie, the logo on the hoodie, my pants, and I don't even know how they got my shoes right. This is seriously so dope. All right, and this next one is pretty much a portrait of me with the Northern Lights or the Aurora actually um, in the background. And as you can see, it kind of transitions into my face and I just thought this looks pretty damn cool. They also gave me this pretty cool uh, stand and it's kind of a replica of their, um, their new LG G6 TVs. So if I put this on the stand, pretty much looks like they're uh, super thin TVs. That's kind of what they were going for with this. And, whoa. and yeah, I just thought it looks really cool and I can't wait to find a place for this and my action figures somewhere in my setup or maybe somewhere in the studio. But anyways, just wanted to show you guys that and now we can continue on with the unboxing. So yeah, again, huge thanks to LG. Can't thank you guys enough. This honestly was truly an amazing uh, surprise. All right, let's get into the good stuff. Is this a freaking... Is this a Pokemon hat? This looks like something Ash would wear. I did not remember ordering this. Alright, so moving on to the other packages. This is... what is this? James Donkey? I have no idea what this is. Natural born player. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me this is another sex toy. Because if so, I did not order this. Oh, thank God. It's just a gaming mouse <laughs> I'm supposed to do a video on, so yeah. Aha! So yeah, pretty much I ordered a Ring Video Doorbell for myself because recently I had an incident where a few of my packages got stolen while I was over at Iceland. UPS came over and dropped the packages off at my door, which he wasn't supposed to. They were supposed to be a signature guaranteed or a signature confirmation, so I was supposed to sign for the packages. So hopefully with this uh, Video Doorbell, I can now record and see who comes at my doorstop and steals things. So, gonna go ahead and install this today. All right, so this is the new NVIDIA SLI bridge that I ordered for Galadex because, well, if you guys saw the video, then you probably already know why I ordered one. Basically, the top bottom GPU is too close to the bottom, and the SSDs are pretty much restricting airflow. So with this, I'm able to move the GPU up one slot and provide better airflow and lower temps. Plus, I think it looks cooler than the EVGA SLI bridge. I wish it had some more green on there because I don't think this really goes well with my white and black theme. So I may have to do some painting on this. This is another 6700K processor. 
and a Maximus Asus motherboard. I am not sure who sent this to me because I did not order this from Amazon. I don't know where these came from, but I'll have to dig through my emails and see maybe there's a company that wants to do a build because I honestly don't know where they came from. I like three of these now. I'm guessing this is gonna be a mini ITX build, but again, I have no idea who sent this, so I'll have to dig through my emails and find out. All right, we got one from DHL. So, can't wait to check it out. All right, sweet. So, looks like we got a gaming headset and a gaming mouse. So this is the Lenovo Y Gaming Optical Mouse and this one is called the Lenovo Y Gaming Stereo Headset. I'm gonna be featuring both of these in a um, gaming gear bundle type of video, so that should be coming up in a few weeks. So yeah, pretty excited. So this one's from China, not really sure. Looks like it's a trash can of some sort. the hell is this? This is a, it's literally a trash can, I called it. Did someone send this to me? Um, there was no note in the package, so if you sent this to me as fan mail, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I'm actually, I was in the market for a trash can, believe it or not, because my tiny uh, MacBook style trash can wasn't big enough, so this is gonna be awesome. Thank you so much for sending this in. I just wish you left a note, maybe your name. I can thank you in, in front of the camera, but this is pretty sweet. Thank you so much. All right, this next one is from X Aviation. Maybe I'm getting some airplane parts to build an airplane. I'm not really sure. Why is this sent from X Aviation? That makes no sense. So this is the MSI Gaming X GTX 1080. Finally some black and red action. Oh yeah, check this out. This looks pretty sweet. Honestly, all I need is one more GTX 1080 and I can make a top 5 GTX 1080 comparison video. Either I get one from Gigabyte or Zotac and I should be good to go. So if you guys are interested in checking that video out, let me know by dropping a like. But I will be working on this video sometime next week and you guys can expect the review maybe in 2-3 to three weeks. Because right now I'm pretty packed with other projects. Alright, so this one is the biggest box I have. So we have a box inside this box. Oh, this is the DJI Phantom 4. Holy crap. This is pretty cool, it comes in a little briefcase. That is a thing of beauty. I've never received a drone before, so this is definitely going to be an interesting experience. I think this is one of the best drones currently out there, and DJI sent this to me. Ow. DJI sent this to me so I can do a comparison with the other high-end uh, drone. I think it's the Yuri or something like that, and they're actually sending that over as well. Actually, that's the, that's the drone that was stolen from me from Monday, so I don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe send another one in or file an investigation. So, yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna be messing around with this one. Hopefully, I don't crash it. And then you guys can expect the comparison video sometime in mid August. I am honestly so stoked to give this a shot. Um, hopefully, I don't crash it. I've seen some pretty 
horrifying things on YouTube, people crashing their drones. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this, especially since how expensive this is. But that's pretty much it for the video. As always, if you guys enjoy this series, make sure to leave a huge thumbs up. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.